Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today is the the first video that is a non-shmup 1cc, and I really want to share this and just chat about it. Uh, these non-shmup vids are not going to be frequent by any means. They're going to be once in a very long while. But uh, anyway, let's just get right into it. Uh, if you don't know this game, this is like a fantasy... I'm not sure if it, you would call it a hack and slash. Uh, like, I, I'm not too familiar with other genres and like how you would label them and all that kind of stuff but you are certainly hacking and slashing with this character um, but anyway you're going through and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous game and there's a lot to it even though it is fairly short um, but anyway like just look at the backgrounds like holy smokes um, so right off the bat you're noticing that I'm just digging right in like there isn't any fiddling around with menus or anything like that it's just pretty fast paced pretty simple gameplay and yet there's quite a balance to achieve in terms of um, being very very efficient with your the gold you're collecting I'm sure some people like of course I've only done one clear I just got the game and then a few days later I banged out this first clear so it's not like I'm super experienced i would imagine some people can go into this and like not lose any lives and not need to spend anything at all uh just because they've really invested some time and energy into this but uh that's not where i'm at these days yet um but anyway there are these structures that thing that i just destroyed those essentially spawn all these creatures um i couldn't tell you all the ins and outs, but from what I have observed, at each one of these uh, structures, there is a set amount of enemies that will spawn, and then eventually there's a point where no more will show up. Uh, so sometimes if you're finding it tricky to stay on top of all the enemies um, and attempt to destroy this thing, you can just deal with the enemies first and then destroy the structure. Uh, so, like some games the first stage is uh, like a super breeze compared to what the rest of the game will throw at you and it's the the shortest level obviously I, i'm not even sure it's like three minutes or something like that um whereas every other stage feels like it's 10 plus or close to it uh but yeah it gets pretty intense you can save villagers i as far as i know they're just score related maybe achievement related for getting everybody um but I I didn't focus on score. I just focused on enemies, gold, and playing decent. Now, for those who don't really know my playstyle when it comes to things like Dead Cells or games like this, I'm extraordinarily reckless. Uh, my style of playing is just crash and burn. I, I don't care how much damage I take as long as I get through the stage. Um, because there are always opportunities to just heal later on so sometimes this fight would go super well i wouldn't take a single hit other times i like it would just be a, an absolute mess i would just be ripping through the stage taking damage all over the place and then it would just be a, a crazy dangerous time um because as far as i know you only have the lives that you you start with and you i haven't seen any sort of way to get any other lives um so yeah on this difficulty, this is hard mode, of course. Um, halfway through this boss's health, these dudes start jumping out and attacking, and that just adds to the chaos. Um, new game plus, which unlocks after you clear the game, these dudes are jumping out right from the very start. It's absolutely bonkers. Uh, but yeah, we're not doing that this time around, so. Um, we are almost done. So I'm just being very careful because I have one HP left. And I really, really would not want to lose a life here. So, four minute clear time. So, at the end of each stage, you have this little moment here where you can spend your gold on different items. The game doesn't tell you what does what. You kind of just need to experiment and figure things out. Um, now, I just went with what, as far as I know, that is a melee damage doubler. And for the, for the whole time leading up to this, I was always prioritizing getting more health like increasing my maximum health by one or whatever um, but I was always really suffering in stage two 
And then this time around I said, you know what, I'm just going to go with the double damage because that way I'm killing everything faster, which just makes sense. So then I'm not taking as much damage, ideally. Uh, and that seemed to work really well because I can always... Like, here's the thing. If I don't grant myself ex extra health for this stage, then that means I have to play better anyway because I, it's that much more risky. I have less to work with, but of course I have double damage. Um, so yeah, what I love, uh, uh, man, I love a lot of things about this game, but one thing I really enjoy is just how different each stage is. You're always destroying these structures in the stage, but there are always these surprises the game throws at you in each level. So the structures in this stage always have one of those tentacle creature things uh, pop up right as soon as it's destroyed. Um, and I think that's really, really cool. Plus just different things like skeletons this time. Uh, and I th I'm not sure what else they throw at us, but... Oh, I cannot tell you how difficult this stage was initially. But one thing that really helped was finding a spot. Uh, I'm not sure if we passed it already or if we're going to come up to it soon. Um, I think we're still coming to it. But there is a part where you can get a secret item. Uh, so sometimes you'll get like a bomb or a scroll, which is like a screen clearing blast. Or you will get uh, like a healing potion or a healing item. The potion is the best because it will do your full health and that's amazing and so when I found out that I could start using that secret spot to get something that really started uh, adding to my longevity in this particular stage uh, because sometimes I would be down to one health in no time and that just allowed me to heal all the way up instead of losing a life like the only three you have you're losing one as early as stage two you're not even halfway through the game yet and already losing lives, so that was just a big help. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's a lot. Like, the game doesn't give you time. It doesn't wait for you to catch your breath. Like, you've always got to be on it, and you got to really learn the hitboxes. It's easy to sort of just be slightly past an enemy because you're slashing or whatever, and then suddenly you're too far, and you got to turn around and swipe, but they could already be striking you. And we, of course we got traps here and just the game really, really keeps you busy and it's just incredible. Now there are three players total. I haven't actually played with any of the other ones, but there's like a big dwarf. He has a, a cannon he holds over his shoulder or on his shoulder. And then there's a wizard. Uh, I just knew right from the start I wanted to play with her because I love um dual blades of some sort they're just a blast whether it's monster hunter games or whatever i just love fast and furious characters because it goes hand in hand with my reckless nature in these games so here's the spot i got a scroll i do not mind that whatsoever but yeah as for gold like i was saying it's super super important um for the most part Part, I would just clean up as many enemies as I could just because sometimes you you're close to a, affording something that you really want uh, but you just can't you just don't have enough so it, to me it just made sense since I was new to the game um, <clears throat> it just made sense to really go all out in that sense and uh, just be able to buy the things that would really increase my chances of clearing this game uh, I'm someone on Twitter I'm they said it has this game has a 1% clear rate uh, on hard mode. I'm not sure if they meant like the full player base or like what. I'm kind of assuming that's what they meant. I have I'm not sure how to confirm that or whatever, but um, it wouldn't surprise me because it's very challenging. But here's the thing, like it doesn't like 1%, that may sound intimidating to some people or super impressive, but what I've kind of noticed because it's the same with Crimson Clover. That has a ridiculously low percentage uh, for people who have cleared it. It's either 1% or something ridiculous, like 0.01. .01. I don't recall. But it's super low. And it's not that the game is impossible and that people who clear these games are like doing anything super special or they're like, oh, the best players on the planet. Like It's just that they 
they stuck with it. They just did not give up. They just learned, they put the time in and they just went with it until they were done. And it's not to play down the fact that people have uh, cleared super hard games that have such a low clear rate. Um, but I think sometimes we can just get this idea about something when we see a number like that or when we hear people saying oh it's like the hardest game out there or like no one can beat it like all these types of things it can really taint the reality because the reality is if you commit to playing a game and you are committed to clearing it guess what you're gonna do that as long as you don't give up you will see the finish line so anyway that was a bit of <laughs> Uh, a motivational tangent <laughs> so let's get back to the game um i'm gonna swig some water too so yeah as you can see those things uh explode to uh grant you access to the next area uh, that's linked to the structure we destroyed so if you attempt to go past there before destroying the little building thing or whatever it is yeah you just can't go so I'm not, I, I have not been paying attention. I'm not sure how long I've been at one health right now. Um, but at this point, <laughs> like in the game, I'm doing everything I can to just not take a single hit. Because I swear, I do not want to lose a life here. And those towers with the stone throwing dudes, those can sometimes be really tricky. Because you can like dash in towards the base and just start going crazy with your slashing and stuff but sometimes you'll still get nicked by a stone um so you you really really got to watch everything in this especially when you're in a situation where you don't want to take a single hit and oh my god and sometimes you hesitate because you you're not expecting an enemy or you forget one comes out so i'm just playing it safe here i'm just gonna take this thing out from an angle stay on top of the enemies i'm not fiddling around with dashing up there while the fire is coming down it's just not worth the risk but we are just getting loaded with the gold right now and those things are nasty you really really got to be careful around those guys so each character has like three attacks more or less um or at least i'm assuming the, i'm pretty sure they all do but i have my dash which is like the twirling swing um that is that just works wonders for crowd control and then of course we have the throwing knives or the dual blades or whatever i think it's actually a separate knife it looks different uh, and then there's just the regular slashing which is just incredible there are specific windows i really like this boss by the way uh, there's specific windows of opportunity where you can just like here's one of them if i was if i had more health i would just yeah go right up to it when it's stuck in the hole like that and there are other times in between all those little shots that it's doing where you could technically spin dash into it hack and slash for a moment and then just take off i used my scroll there just because i want to do get some uh some of its health down like a nice chunk off of it just to speed uh, speed things up here and not be in this fight for as long um but yeah like it's a long level long enough anyway it feels it feels long and risky most of the time But we haven't even seen anything yet. <laughs> this game just gets over the top. And there we go. Now, for this one, I sped up this section because I was here for almost a full minute. Uh, just weighing my options. Uh, I went with an S item. I have no idea what that does. I boosted my maximum health, of course, and I grabbed some uh, some healing item as well so i can heal one point of health if i need to which i certainly will in this level so this is a really cool one uh at first you might not think anything of the clouds uh or the trees that we're starting to see uh like that evergreen tree there but there are some sections i'll, I'll point it out when we get there um but there are times where 
enemies will sort of it's not that you can't see through the clouds but there will be times where there are so many trees and then the clouds flowing or like moving past over top that you don't see where enemies are it's like you're in a, a, a misty forest almost and that can get really dangerous because you're, you just you don't realize an enemy is there and then suddenly you're taking a hit and you're wildly just flailing around because you have no idea what's going on uh, so that's something that it'll catch you off guard maybe the first handful of times or whatever but eventually you'll kind of just wisen up to it and know to uh, pay closer attention to those things so there are a lot of traps in this stage it's easy to take damage if you're not paying attention especially when you play recklessly like i do you, you just want to be that much more careful that you're not dashing into spikes or flames and of course we are going to see some new enemies as well or at least one new enemy or actually yeah we've seen these armored orc dudes or whatever they're supposed to be and then there's another one we haven't seen yet but uh, we're coming up to it and those ones in this stage those ones gave me huge huge problems until i finally just started taking like really taking my time with them because i did not want to yeah these guys here these guys will dash at you once you're close enough i didn't trigger it that time so he didn't do anything but we'll see examples of it because we go up against oodles of those dudes and like i said like it's easy to just there's a flame trap going and you run right into it without even meaning to and so just like that, taking a hit from the dude and then the flame, I'm down to health. And that's not, not cool in this stage. Because this one, this is where the stages start to feel very, well, not very long as in, oh, it's a chore to get through it. It takes forever. I just mean you you are on a journey in this particular stage. It goes places compared to the first two. Especially when, like at this point, I'm fairly used to the level, so I'm kind of just blazing through. But uh, if it's your first playthrough, you're probably going to be taking it a little slower just because there is, like I said, a lot the game throws at you. Sometimes enemies pop out of the chest, so it's easy to just think, oh great, I'll see what item comes out for me. And you kind of hesitate, and then all of a sudden you're taking a hit from a, a dude. So yeah, as for I, could, I suppose I could talk about the web, uh, the item, the the shop items that I do know what they do. So there's one that, if I didn't mention it, I think I did. There's one that doubles the throwing knife damage, and that is amazing, especially for when you're in stage four, and then the hacking and slashing that has double damage. Uh, I think something increases your movement speed by a bit, but I could be mistaken. It's, oh, it's yeah, like. It's just one of those things, like, the game doesn't tell you, and you can only figure out so much. This is one of the areas where trees and cloud cover can just mask enemies really well. But I was super thankful to get that blue potion. Because, uh, yeah, this boss, the boss of this stage, is very tough if you don't know how to approach it. My first couple times, I just went in. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to save that for when we get there, and then we'll just chat about it for a bit. We'll just enjoy the, the level. But, like, just look at all the details, like the little rocks in the water the ripples where it's hitting against the side there just all these colors all these details it's just fantastic the first time i made it to the stage i totally missed the structure down there uh and so i was roaming around all over the place just attempting to find this one that i had missed and then i finally came back up here and noticed it oh man times like that are just great But I do love this character. She's a lot of fun to play with.
and I really enjoy her voice acting. Sometimes characters will just, yeah, they'll either really nail a certain vibe or they won't, or they'll do a decent job at capturing a specific uh, tone for their character. But I think with this one, what I enjoy is just when you hear some of the sounds she's making, it just sounds like she's having a blast of a time because she's obviously no stranger to killing uh, monsters. And I think she's done it enough that it's just in ways like a sport for her, like something enjoyable where she actually has a fun time. So yeah, this is a tricky part. There's that uh, knight that we killed coming up here. Um, that guy would always, always claim damage. He would always damage me. Um, this this part just went brutal. I'm not sure what happened here, but normally I stay on top of that section. I don't even take hits here, but that was just crazy. And then we're going into this uh, dungeon, and there are traps all over, skeletons that uh, chase after you. It's just a wild time. And it's interesting, there's that explosive barrel I... In other runs, I experimented with hitting it to certain parts of the wall and detonating it there, uh, just in case there were secret passages or something. Because with the one secret item that dropped in Stage 2, I feel as though there's got to be areas within all the stages where there are uh, hidden items to just help you along as you go. Uh, but I, I didn't come across anything else. I always wait to have my dash, my spin dash recharged before I come out here. Because sometimes if it's not ready and you go to use it, then you're just, you're left hanging there and then you're taking a hit you don't need to be taking. But oh, this game is so much fun. So I'm just really playing it safe here. I'm in no rush. There's a knight over there, but the way I deal with him for this specific part of the stage is I just, uh, well, we'll see it soon when I actually do it, but I'm just staying on top of the enemies. But I normally just throw my throwing knives until the structure explodes because it will kill enemies that are close to it when it does go off. So that's what I do here. There's no sense taking a, a chance dashing up to him and attempting to be a hero and all this stuff. Oh, the flames. And a bonus to having double damage now. Normally I wouldn't grab the double or the double damage item until after this stage. Um, so it helped for taking out the knights a lot faster. Instead of three hits, they would go down in two, which is just, yeah, really nice. So... For the first time I came here, I would be at the opposite, or the first one or two times, I would be at the opposite side of the stage, and I would just be throwing my daggers across and then attempting to dodge the flames that he does, and that was getting me nowhere. So then I figured, okay, always go in with a scroll or a bomb if you can to just do a nice big chunk of damage, and if you're going to be taking hits anyway, you might as well be right at the head, just going absolutely ballistic, and so... That started to work wonders. I started making it through where, sure, you take two or three hits, but you're bringing that boss down super fast. So the fact that I already took a hit in this stage <laughs> was like, I think that's where I took it. I'm just doing all sorts of talking. I'm only really registering the on-screen events uh, to such a degree, so bear with me. Those black creatures, they can show up anywhere in this stage and they can just really really mess with you and the fire traps in this you've got to just be so careful there are numerous new enemies in this stage and it's just over the top i'm debating whether to go get the chest to the left and down but i i figured you know what it's not even worth it 
whatever it is, I, I would be taking more damage just fiddling around with those fire traps. And then this is another area where you just got a mad dash. I really didn't like taking that hit too, but whatever. And then this, this is just chaos. We have three of these things and just dudes coming up all over the place. But this character is so fun to play with. Just so destructive. Just a whirlwind of chaos and destruction. But look at these colors. Like the black and purple. It's just amazing. I do really love being able to use the dash as an evasion technique. Just to really get away quick. This is a very dangerous part. These dudes can more or less appear around you anywhere. And you need to be ready to dash and take them out instantly. You don't have to take your time here, but I figured, you know what, I'm just going to hunt a few, essentially. Uh, but I think eventually I just said, you know what, screw it, we don't need to do this. Let's just keep it moving. This is a, a section where I would pretty much always take a hit or two. So that's why I'm just really playing it safe, because the fact that I've taken four hits already is just really, really lame. We haven't gotten anywhere in this stage yet. So these these skeletons are different. Their heads explode after they get knocked down, so you really got to watch that. The first few times, I think I was just... I would hack and keep running... And then, boom, you're, you've are you caught up to the head already and you're taking another hit because it just went off. So that's another thing to be very mindful of. And just taking out things like the towers from a safe distance. Like, you can just take your time. You like you, I get that you're seeing me just blaze through it like a, a maniac, like a madman. Um, but yeah, you can be far more safe with uh, a slower careful approach <laughs> I have no idea what that was but I, I stalled for a split second and thought I was going to take a hit there oh my god the black guy oh, I mean the, the black enemy and the thing is with the purple uh, the purple flames or whatever they're like the smoke flames they have a ridiculously long range there have, time, there have been times where I thought like, okay, I'm far enough away and I can just run in the opposite direction and the stream of purple flame still catches up to me. They are a deadly enemy. I'm so thankful I, yeah, I like didn't mess that up. And once again, we are down to <laughs> one health. <laughs> but I felt really good about this run so far because I hadn't lost a life yet. And I think for me, that was a first. Oh, and I was blown away. I didn't take a hit to that. Like, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, but that was just a silly fumble running into danger. But I'm not too concerned, uh, because I'm far enough into the stage that I feel like my chances are still really decent. So we have a bunch of these rooms you can't actually... I'm not sure why that one doesn't let you enter it. I've never been able to enter that direction. But you destroy the machine, the structure thing, and then you exit. And then the next room has more of these. And tons of enemies. And so we just continue along. One in each corner. Oh, you really gotta watch for those flies. And the last one up here. And then the next room is even more insane. With just huge groups of dudes that just are dangerous to deal with. It's so easy to overcommit with the spin dash because you're kind of left, like whatever doesn't get taken out with that attack, 
you're pretty much right in the middle of the enemies. And so it's, you've got to be very, very careful. I'm not being careful. I'm not being, yeah, like I, I'm just going ballistic. It's, that's all there is to it. It's not smart playing. It's just fun playing, <laughs> fun and risky. And then there's that section in the middle that goes to the other half of the room, and it's, of course, guarded by a flame trap. Oh. I think eventually I just think to myself, all right, you know what, let's go see if we can enter from the bottom area. Because obviously we're not going to be getting around that from uh, the top section. Sometimes you can wait for it to... You can just kind of go back and forth and then make sure you're entering as it's spinning and you have a safe opportunity. Oh, and the flames, like, that's what I mean. Like, y at sometimes you, you don't even think about it, but it's right there just spinning onto the screen and you can take a hit. It's just crazy. So here we are. I think I had only ever made it to this boss once or twice, but I had never made it past... I, I think I took an early hit to this particular phase, so... Um, yeah. I I had no idea how to even deal with these attacks until I f just happened to figure it out right now. I'm like, okay, circle around, avoid it. So I'm doing everything I can to just not take a hit, but of course I did. But at least she's very weak right now. So I've never before tackled this part of the fight. So this was crazy. And the... Yeah, we're just going to watch. It's just, it's just bonkers. So it's like, okay, yeah, sure. We have taken a huge chunk of her health down so far. That's great, but... We're also just taking hits all over the place, too, and that's not helping anything. And uh, down to two health. She's almost down. At this point, I'm thinking, oh, my God, like, are we going to survive this? I'm just being so careful now and just everything I can. One hit away from losing it. But we pulled it off. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. Initially, I was going to include the, the credits and that kind of stuff, but, the, but it was almost a 40-minute video, and I feel like this is long enough. But uh, yeah, anyway, let me know what you think of seeing this awesome arcade game. Um, I really enjoy it, but yeah, thanks for checking this out. Uh, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Have an awesome day, and we will see you next time.